Second Sight is the 29th episode of the American science fiction television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine. It is the ninth episode of the second season. Sisko develops feelings for a woman visiting the station, but there is more to her than he first thinks. Topic. Plot Second Sight consists of two main story lines that converge at the end of the episode. The first involves Commander Sisko's falling in love with Fenner, a visitor to Deep Space Nine. The second involves the effort to reignite a star by Professor Sietic and the Nebula-class starship USS Prometheus NCC not the same USS Prometheus seen in the Star Trek – Voyager episode, "'Message in a Bottle' Sietic, one of the Federation's greatest minds, has the responsibility of reigniting a dying star to make it suitable for supporting life on an orbiting planet. He has arrived at Deep Space Nine to prepare for his mission. Meanwhile, O'Brien and Dax assist him. O'Brien is preparing the Prometheus, the starship Sietic will use, for travel at warp 9.6. In case of emergency during the mission, the Prometheus would need to escape quickly from the vicinity of the star. In the other storyline, Sisko meets Fenner while he's standing on the floor above the promenade staring at stars out of a window. Fenner approaches him from behind and starts a conversation. After several moments, Sisko finds she has left him without a word. The two meet again in subsequent scenes during which they fall in love. Dax is apparently aware of their relationship, she comments to Sisko about it. It is the first spark of love he has felt since the death of his wife Jennifer four years earlier. Sietic invites Sisko, Kira, Dax, and a couple of other high-ranking personnel for dinner on board the Prometheus. During this scene, Sietic introduces his wife, Niddle. To the audience, this introduction is dramatic because Niddle appears to be exactly the same person as Fenner. The next shot shows Sisko and Dax reacting to this surprising revelation. After dinner, Sisko privately converses with Niddle, believing her to be the same person as Fenner. Sisko asks her such questions as why she didn't tell him earlier that she is married. Niddle, however, acts as if she'd never met him before. Later, on board the Prometheus, Fenner appears to Sisko again. Immediately, he calls Dax to his location so that she may help investigate the nature of her mysterious being. This unusual response to her presence, of course, alarms Fenner. When Dax arrives, she determines that Fenner is nothing more than pure energy. Meanwhile, Niddle is unconscious and dying. Sietic recognizes Fenner, and explains to Sisko her psychoprojective nature. Niddle has projections such as Fenner during times of emotional stress. Sisko soon realizes why Niddle is distressed. She is no longer happy in her marriage, and since her people mate for life, she can't leave Sietic no matter how much she might want to. Sietic admits to Sisko that all his previous wives have started out loving him, but soon have the good sense to leave, Niddle cannot. Her projected dreams of freedom have created Fenner, but are also killing her. Dax calls Sisko to the command bridge, and informs him that Sietic is in a shuttlepod on a course directly into the star. Sisko tries unsuccessfully to prevent him from his present course of action, but Sietic is determined to set his wife free. As he approaches the surface of the sun, he shouts, Let there be light! The sun then reignites in an orange blaze. Niddle leaves the station to return to her homeworld, with no memory of Fenner's romance with Sisko. <laughs> <laughs> 